Evan Frank mentioned the other night that uh, the spirit of the team seemed to be a little broken maybe after the Clemson game, which is a big reason why you came in and got the start the other night. I mean, has he talked to you about, you know, uh, the, the enthusiasm that, that you bring to the team? Nah, he hasn't really talked to me about it. But uh, I try to go out every game and bring my enthusiasm because that's just the way I feel about the game. So I just go out there every game and try to play hard, you know, try to help the team out, inspire the other team, like our team to play harder and stuff like that. Evan, how easy does it come to you from a basketball standpoint, coming from football, and just how how good do you feel out there in terms of structure and scheme and uh, the way Frank wants to play? I've been playing like basketball for a long time. Like that was my first sport, so it's not like the transition isn't really that hard. So I'm I'm good. Like I played a couple games now, so my basketball game feels like good. It's good now. Evan, how did the transition go? Was it, like Frank said, you pretty much got back from Tampa and, and came right over to practice? Yeah, for the most part. But I had, like, practice before with the team because I played. So I was pretty much good. But, yeah, that's pretty much how it went. Chris, what impact do you think Evan had the other night and maybe on your team since he's kind of come back fully to basketball here since uh, since the new year? I mean, it was big. Like, a, like you said, uh, the energy it brought to the team was a uh, big time. That's just what we needed. So we try to feed off him. Chris, Justin was pretty vocal about being more aggressive um, and, and playing more in the paint. Did you sense that Saturday? And what, what does that bring to your team when he's able to get into the paint and rebound and score down there? Uh, I mean, that's what I do. You know, uh, that's what uh, our basketball is about. Like, we play inside out. so. I try to give a, a presence inside so uh, the defense can uh, c uh, come inside and try to chop so the outside shot be there. So if I don't if I don't post up or we don't post up inside, the, the defense is going to stay still and put so and we, we won't have anything. So it's just a way to move the defense. Evan, for you, how has football practices helped you prepare to to work under Frank and also in terms of building that team chemistry with your fellow players. I got to imagine that's not the easiest thing in the world to do when you're playing football one week and then basketball the next. Uh, it depends. Like If you're friendly with people, you can pretty much do it. Like I'm friends with the football players and the basketball players just the same. So like the trans, it's not really a transition for me. It's just the same thing, it's just different sport. Chris, what, what are you more impressed with with yourself in terms of scoring a career-high 27 points or just having one foul in your last game? Uh, I mean, I would say I would say one foul, I guess, because I guess I, I foul a lot because a lot of people be talking about fouling, fouling, fouling. So I guess, I guess one foul. <laughs> How do you feel about your level of play right now? I mean, what's been the biggest difference for you? Because, you know, you're playing like at an all-conference level right now. Uh, I mean, that's my third year going through this. So uh, I've been learning from my freshman year to now. So I just try to put in on the table what I learned from these past two, three years. If both of you guys can answer this, Frank Booker seems to be really adept at taking charges. Just uh, when, when did you first see that from him in practice, and how often does he do it in practice? Uh, he, he does that a lot. Uh, I mean, I try to do it too, but uh, with the defense or defense, it's it's just easy to take charges. But sometimes, you know, uh, you gotta be careful because if you're not in the right spot, you can't end up to be a foul. So, I mean, he do, he really does a good job to see like when to take a charge or not. So. Uh, he's pretty good at taking them. Some people good at taking them, and some people just not good at taking them. He's real good at taking them, so that's pretty much it. As a football player, kind of bouncing off that though, as a guy that that tries to bring that to the team, like what is that when you see Booker doing that? Uh, what do you think that kind of adds to the the toughness and the identity uh, that, that this team wants to get back to? Oh yeah, it's uh, it's definitely. A sign of toughness, taking the charge, to be able to put your body in there, sacrifice your body, you take the charge. And also, it's good on defense because the other team is not going to drive as hard if they know you're going to take the charge. So the charges are like, they're pretty good. If, uh, uh, most of the teams started to take charges, we'll be a like, much better team.
Evan, uh, as far as when guys try to do football and basketball both, they talk about being in football shape versus being in basketball shape. Do you notice that difference? And what is different about those two? Oh, yeah, it's real different. Because football, you run and stop. Basketball, you keep running up and down and up and down and up and down and don't stop. So it's like it's a big transition. That's probably the biggest transition, the shape. Chris, you said after the Missouri game that you guys had to get back to playing South Carolina basketball. After the win, noticing the players and the team the last couple of days, do you feel like you've achieved that at least in a little bit, building some momentum? Yeah, yeah, I feel like we're getting back to it, uh, playing our defense and uh, giving the emotion in the court. Uh, I mean, like Coach said, uh, this past game, we, we kind of lost the, the emotion after the, the Clemson loss, but I think he did a really good job bringing us back. and. I mean, with Evan coming back and with the enthusiasm, we just try to feed off him and be back positive. Evan, what do you recall about playing Alabama last year in the SEC tournament? That was a game that you kind of came off the bench and gave the team a spark. Do you, can you take anything from that heading in, into today's game? And what do you call most from, from that game? Oh, yeah. Um, that game was pretty much the first game I got, like, playing time in the real, like, the heads. Things was flying like it was a real game. So that game helped me a lot just to get my confidence and stuff like that. How much different do you feel now, though? Like kind of a, a year later playing these guys again, where are you now and kind of, you know, you got some real minutes, obviously, the other night starting. Um, do you expect to be in that role again uh, tomorrow? And, and just how do you feel comfort-wise maybe compared to, to last year? Uh, when I go out on the court, I always feel like, I always got to play with a confidence. So when, every time I go out there, it's the same whether I start, don't start, or whatever. So it's pretty much the same. This is for both of you. Do you guys feel like you guys were talking about how the team morale was maybe a little down after Clemson? After this past win, do you feel like the locker room is getting more positive and getting to where you want to be emotionally? Yeah, sure. Uh, the Clemson game is a game you really want to win. And losing it uh, got us down pretty much. But uh, uh, I mean, and after that, the loss we got after that, we, we, we didn't try to get too low, keep our heads up, get back to the gym and work. And I feel like um, after this win, the, uh, the moral came up. And like that's just what we need for the team, another win. Chris, does facing Alabama mean more to you, given that you know they beat you guys here at home in overtime, and then they beat you in the SEC tournament last year? Does this matchup mean more? Yeah, I mean every game, every game kind of the same, you know. Uh, we try to win. That's that's the next game in a, on the schedule, so it's the most important game. Uh, we gotta take it like uh, I mean the big game, obviously, because we want to know win. We don't just want to go there and just show up. Thank you. Chris Frank told us that you quote unquote blew a gasket uh, last week at practice. Kind of went off on a, you know, an unnamed point guard because they did something wrong. And he said that was that was a good, he smiled because that was the first time that somebody really took ownership of this team. Can you describe that for us and, and what what kind of led you to to do that? Is that a sign of you kind of taking over the leadership of this team? Uh, I mean, yes. I, I always try to challenge my guys. You know, uh, when something went off, uh, I mean, wrong or not, I try to talk to the guys and try to like get involved and try to get them to go to the right way. So uh, I mean, at that time, I just I mean, we in January. So we shouldn't be like, uh, I mean, doing some mistakes. We shouldn't get better. So I just, that just blew me off, and I just, I just got off. First day I made it, maybe you've gotten. <laughs> I mean, I guess. <laughs> A couple more guys, Greg. Evan, when you hear that there's, you know, uh, down locker room, especially off that Clemson game, and you're coming into it, and you are fresh off. A jacked up locker room down there in Tampa. I heard coaches' speech to you guys there. What's your mood coming in from such a, a joyous environment last time you were with the Gamecock team to then seeing what you can do to help build the morale as your teammates need that little push? Uh, well, with football, it wasn't always like that. We had our ups and downs throughout the season, too. With basketball, you're going to have your ups and downs throughout the season. So we can get to that just like we were with football. It's just going to take the effort and uh, you know how it goes. So that's pretty much it. Evan, what do you want your impact to continue to be with this team moving forward as Frank looks like he's going to continue to lean on you for that spirit, that effort throughout the remainder of the season? 
Uh, I just want to go out and help win. I just my whole point is winning. I just want to go out there and win. Whatever I could do to help win, I want to do it. So, if he goes out there, if he takes me off the bench, I can go in there and help help the team win. I'm gonna do that. If I start, he wants me to uh, get the team up. You know, inspire the team. I'll do that too. So, whatever to do to win, I'm I'm with it. Uh, for both of you guys, you guys were talking about Frank, about him taking charges. He didn't score a lot in his last game, but he made a lot of you know 50-50 plays. He was diving all over the floor. When you see a guy do that, when one aspect of his game isn't working for him, what does that do for you guys when you see that? Uh, that's big, man. That just tells us that uh, whenever you play the game and something isn't working, you just got to go to the next one. I mean, uh, that's for everybody, even like me. Like if I, I I can't score, I can't just get down on the team and let the team down. I gotta find something else I gotta do to impact the the game. So I, I, that's in, that's really big for me. Last question, Andrew. For either of you guys, just as fans of basketball, have you just obviously you'll, you'll watch film study now and you'll get a sense of him. But have you watched much of Colin Sexton and kind of what he's been doing? And he played three on five one game and scored 40 points. Uh, what's what's exciting to watch about him and what's difficult in, in facing him tomorrow? Uh, I mean, we know all the position go to him. He's the one uh, uh, setting up the offense. So oh, I'm going to try to challenge my guys, uh, my guards, try to guard, like challenge each other during practice today. So it makes things hard. We know, I mean, we, got, we, we, we ain't going to do anything different. We're just going to keep playing uh, what's our defense. And we know our defense well. We believe on our defense. So we just we going to do what we know. Thanks, guys. Thank you guys.